When you're in high school, you're tired, you sleep a lot, you're awake at all the wrong times, and to top it all off, school starts at the butt crack of dawn. The struggle is real, you guys. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. When I was in high school, the 5.30 a.m. alarm was the bane of my existence. The bus left at 6.20 and school started at 7. Meanwhile, I wasn't able to fall asleep till like midnight. A lot of medical experts agree that teenagers need eight and a half to nine and a half hours of sleep every night, yet most high school students in the U.S. only get seven hours or less. The National Sleep Foundation found that 60% of teens under 18 feel tired throughout the day, with 15% of students falling asleep in class at least once during the year. Just like being hungry, being sleepy isn't exactly a helpful way to learn stuff. All the research agrees, the sleep deprivation problem among students causes real problems. When scientists at the University of Minnesota observed schools that pushed their start time to 8.30, magic happened. Students got five more hours of sleep a week. The researchers saw an overall improvement in student attendance, fewer tardies, they got into fewer car accidents, there was a substantial drop in rates of depression in the student body, and, kind of an important thing, they got better grades and remained remember more information. What's often overlooked in thinking about school start times is that teenage bodies have a different internal clock than full-grown adults. Your biological clock determines how much sleep you need and when your peak alertness and sleepiness will be. So this clock changes over the course of your life. Researchers at Brown University found that in teens, the internal clock is on phase delay. In phase delay, teenagers need more sleep and they naturally fall asleep later and wake up later. During the time older adults start to get tired around 9 or 10, teens actually feel a little more alert, with sleepiness typically setting in between 11 and 12. So by starting school at 7 and finishing around 2, you're fighting nature, and you'll never win against nature. So hey America, why are we doing things that make approximately zero sense? Earlier this week, US Education Secretary Arne Duncan asked the same question. He made a statement in Washington strongly encouraging school districts to push back school start times to 8.30 or 9 a.m. He said there's lots of research and common sense indicating that teens are struggling, and yet he's preaching to the choir. 80% of adults polled by the NSF think school should start later than 8 a.m. So what's the holdup? School districts are reluctant to make it happen because of all those pesky logistical details. Delaying start time would mean pushing bus times back, coaches will have to rethink scheduling practices, parents who are arranging transportation and childcare will have to sort all of that out, and it may complicate the situation for teens with after school jobs and extra curriculars. So pushing back might be kind of a pain, but it seems like a small price to pay considering the facts. That's my take anyway. Do you think we should push back school starting times? Let me know what you think down below or on Twitter at DNews and I'll catch you next time.